<laughs> Welcome back, guys. Let's have a little fun today. Okay? And this was loaned in from my buddy Alex over at Alex's Knives and Such uh, YouTube channel as well as uh, Instagram. And I will put a link to his channel down below. Uh, thanks for sending this one in, Alex. Uh, you know... <laughs> Yeah, you know, I don't even know exactly what to say. I think that no matter what we collect, knives, watches, shoes, pens, coins, stamps, you pick a collection. You pick a genre. And we have to have fun. Right? Like, if we stop having fun in our hobby and we take it too seriously, then I think it's over. I, I just, I, then, then it takes the joy and the fun out of the hobby. You know, I, I don't know. And I tell... I've, I've said this at my, my normal day job and, and at work my entire career to all of my my managers and all of the people that I have managed. If we stop having fun at work, it's time to find a new job. And I've done that. I've left jobs. I stopped having fun. Now, I get it. When you're at work, there's a time to work, but there's also a time to have fun. And if you hate your job, eight of every eight hours, five of every five days a week, then it's time to find a new job. You have to like going to work. You like to, you have to like and have fun while you're at work. Or if you work from home like I do, as I've mentioned before, you still have to have some fun with your coworkers across the country and across the world in my case. There's still a time to do the job, but you have to have fun. Same in knife collecting, because we're talking about that. But in any collecting, you got to have fun with it. And this right here is the Rough Rider tie-dye number R15555. This is a just a fun, goofy, silly knife that's not centered that I don't know what the blade steel is because I couldn't even find that. Spring assisted, liner lock, polypropylene scales with a pocket clip that's too long and is hard to put in your pocket. But it's fun. Okay? It's like three and a half inches, five and seven eighths overall with a 2.37 inch blade. Okay. Weighs in at three and a three point two ounces. It's about all the specs we need, right? I mean, it is what it is. It actually feels amazing in the hand. I'm not gonna lie. The pocket clip disappears. There's enough kind of swell and contour in the scales that it just feels fantastic. Like really fantastic. It's sharp. There's some blade play. I could probably tighten that up. I didn't mess with it. Could probably tighten it up and call it good, right? That would probably center it and would make it a lot better. But, eh, it's just fun. I, 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 I kind of think of this like I think of the donut knife, okay? And I pulled out the small one today because it's about the same size just something to have fun with. Now, the donut knife is probably a little bit better quality. It's a little nicer. These are like $40. Do not pay hundreds and hundreds of dollars for these. People are dumb when they ask for that money. Don't buy into the hype. They will do another drop. This is like $10 or $12. But again, it's fun. Like, why not? It's 10 bucks. Who cares? 
I'll have some fun for 10, 15 bucks. I don't know. I think it's cool. Am I going to rush out and buy one? Probably not. But they make several different models. This is like the pink one. There's an orange one. There's like a purplish one that has different printing on the blade, different scales, different size a little bit. So Rough Rider has kind of a line of these type of knives. I think we have to have fun in the hobby. So here it is next to the Sharpie. Just slightly longer than the Sharpie. We'll just do a couple of quick size comparisons. Spyderco Delica. So my message really is, guys, just have fun. Don't judge others. This, this Rough Rider might be someone's grail. We don't know, and I don't care. I don't judge. The Quiet Carry Waypoint. I think when we start to judge people, it just detracts from the common decency of humanity and from our hobby. So just don't do it. There's no point. Everybody's allowed to like what they like. There's a lot of hate on the donut knives. I'm sure there will be a lot of hate on this too. But I don't care because I think it's cool. And I think we're allowed to have fun in the hobby. I wish the clip was shorter because it's hard to get in your pocket because normally there is room on the knife to put into your pocket first and then slide the clip in. This one, there's really not. It's hard to get the, the butt of the knife into your pocket and then let the clip slide in. So it's a little tough there, but the clip works perfectly once you get it started. So again, you're not going to carry this thing. It's a $10 fun piece that I got to do a video on. That's all. Kind of cool. Kind of funny. Kind of silly. But I think that's what the hobby is truly all about. Let me know your thoughts, guys. We don't have to collect practical things. This is impractical. The Reese Whelan Fatty Slash, impractical. I, I mean, I can pull out. You, you've seen my collection. A lot of what I have is impractical. But it makes me smile. And really, that's all that matters. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Go check out Alex's Knives and Such YouTube channel for more interesting and unusual stuff. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.